we finally have a final response from CoffeeZilla regarding the Logan Paul CryptoZoo situation. I'm yet to see it. I think it's time I watch this. Well, it's finally over. Logan Paul apologized. CoffeeZilla, your slang is He is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, more like an internet criminal. Oops, wrong video. That was the first response. He actually apologized in another response. It's like a little gnat. It's like a little annoying gnat. It bothers me. The defamation lawsuit, that is happening because this is wrong. This is wrong. Hold on, wait a second. That's not it either. Uh, turns out it's actually on his secondary channel. That's, that's why I couldn't find it. It's entitled, Thank You, CoffeeZilla. It's the third response from Logan Paul, and it's a pretty big change in Logan's attitude so far. So let's see what he has to say to us. CoffeeZilla is not a criminal. Oh, that's a relief. I thought Logan was gonna hire me. But in all seriousness, this video does have some major <laughs> admissions in it I wanna go through. For one, Logan apologizes to me. I called him, I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was that of, of, of fire uh, and ego. Not only that, Logan also pledges a $1.3 million refund plan for people who bought his NFTs. I am personally committing 1,000 ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million. In addition to that, he also promises to finish CryptoZoo, which was left abandoned. And then step three, obviously finish and deliver the game as outlined in the white paper. Now, I'll be honest, this is a big change in tone. And honestly, a lot of this is good news. It's great that victims are going to get something back. Logan seems to acknowledge his continued. The problem with the way that he set it up for the, if it, it feels like what he's done is he's gone, he's got like what, um, a thousand E for $1.3 million to give back to people. It feels like he's basically committing that to a first come first serve situation. And I don't think he's going to verify shit from anyone. It genuinely feels like he's just going to end up giving tons of money to the big whales who put tons of money into the game, who are probably his friends. And in reality, what he should really do is a one-to-one -one return situation. That's how it feels to me, at least. He was lapse in judgment. He's not suing me, which is also cool. And frankly, this new response is just uh, way better than his last two. I think we can all acknowledge that, while also acknowledging that it's not really a perfect response either. There are still major problems here. Like, for example, many of the victims just have been ignored in this response. A lot of accusations have gone unanswered. And worse, Logan still they seems to be playing the victim a lot. Yep. So in this video, I'm it's very fucking common for someone with an ego as big as Logan Paul's to feel like the victim because... He started off wealthy. When he was younger, he came from a rich family. He then jumped into YouTube with a big... He, he jumped into YouTube really early on. You want to feel like the victim because you surrounded yourself with yes men who basically are sitting there going, oh, poor you, poor you, sir. Oh my God, so poor you, poor you, poor, poor Logan. It's like, fucking take the L and do your fucking due diligence as a human. I acknowledge that you basically got given a fucking golden seed from an early age and you need to stop playing the fucking victim in this situation. You scammed people out of fucking money. You deserve to actually, you need to take the L. You need to take the L and fucking run with it, dude. I'm going to do my best to give Logan credit where credit is absolutely due while also sharing moments where I think this apology fell flat. And let me start with a positive. For example, I think if you are an outsider who is not affected by this scam and you wanted a reason to love Logan Paul again, I think this nails it. I mean, he's giving back some of the money, he's apologizing. So if you're a card carrying member of the Low Gang, you can rest easy here. Logan says he's sorry, he says he's making things right. And I think that's the point of this video is to speak to his core audience, to tell them he didn't scam anyone. And for what it's worth, I think Logan succeeds here. The way that he's apologized though, it feels like it's the equivalency of a vegan drinking milk and then having to apologize to the vegan community about drinking milk. Those aren't the people you need to please. It's the people who fucking invested in your shit. You don't need, he, he specifically, he uploaded this video on an account with hardly any followers on it in comparison to his main channel. That's the, that, it's, it makes no sense. It's like me make it's like me basically going to my VOD channel, making an apology video for this channel. 
It makes no fucking sense. Why would you do that? The problem is, I don't think I or the CryptoZoo holders were who Logan was really addressing here. And this is where the response exactly. falls more flat, because he doesn't adequately address the real victims of CryptoZoo, which I, I think they're rightfully angry about. And I wanted to spend some time talking about that because, again, they've been the heartbeat of this whole story, and they feel very differently about this response than Logan's core audience does. They don't feel like it's enough, and I want to talk about why. Starting with the $1.3 million repayment plan, because obviously this is the strongest part of Logan's entire response, actually opening up his wallet, uh, and I don't want to minimize that in this video. I just do want to put it in context because $1.3 million is a lot of money. Unfortunately, the scam was much bigger than $1.3 million. Exactly. So the fact is most victims are not going to be made whole by this plan. Just in Zoo Coins alone, blockchain evidence shows $7.7 .7 million was stolen by Logan's team, depending on who you believe. And this refund does nothing for those victims. It doesn't even apply to the holder of Zoo Coins at all. You get nothing if you bought this in-game currency. This refund only applies to current egg holders. So they can cash out that NFT for the initial mint price in crypto, which matters sort of because crypto has crashed a lot. So even though people spent $2.5 million on these eggs, in order to refund all these holders at mint price, it now only costs $1.3 million in today's money. It feels like what he's done is he rented a Bugatti. He rented like a Bugatti Chiron and he's driven it for like a year and a half. He doesn't give a shit. The paint works all fucking scuffed up. You've got the whole thing. The inside, it's got like coke spillage everywhere. It's got like, like the whole thing is grimy as fuck. And the whole thing is just disgusting. And he's got this, he started off with this bu beautiful Bugatti. And at the end of the fucking day, what's actually happened is he's scuffed and fucked it. And it's gotten scuffed and fucked over the last year. And he's coming back and he's co and he's basically coming in and going like, I'm going to give you guys back the Bugatti. And it's worth now is about a seventh of what it was before. Yeah. The fact that his, exactly when, his apology feels like it has a price limit and his price limit is whatever the fuck he wants it to be. Which again is nice, but doesn't do enough because the zoo coins were most of this scam. I mean, that's where most of the money was spent. It wasn't just on the NFTs. It was on this in-game currency, which Logan seems to have no intention of refunding. And his response for why is pretty bad. He responds to somebody who lost $80,000 who told him, I hope this isn't just doing what you have to do technically to not get sued. Logan replies with a screenshot of his white paper and later explains to another member of the Discord, I believe there has been a misconception here. As outlined in the white paper, Zoo was created to support CryptoZoo and was not intended to be an investment vehicle. Bullshit. He literally has a clip of him saying it's a fun game that you can make money on. That therefore says it is a fucking investment. He is just fucking trying to save face so he doesn't get sued. If I was if I was stupid enough to get into crypto zoo, I would be lining up with the others to sue his fucking ass. When you sold or bought is not my decision. And look, to be fair to him, there was a misconception that Zoo was an investment vehicle, but it's a misconception that he created. Exactly. I mean, he's the one who said Crypto Zoo was a fun game that earned you money. Exactly. And how it earned you that money was that your NFTs earned you Zoo tokens. You know, things that were supposed to have value. That was the whole point of the game. So to suggest that these coins weren't advertised as valuable or an investment vehicle is insane, especially since Logan's own team had rules for selling based strictly on the value of said investment vehicle. So, so when you go to like a car dealership and you go to buy a car and they turn around and tell you, oh, this car is really rare, it's gonna appreciate in value. And then what happens about six months after you buy it, it goes down in value. It's like, well, yeah, it's an investment risk. But you were advised by a professional it was going to go up, not down.
quote, rules for selling, no selling until a $200 million market cap. So I think it's fair to say if Logan's own team were buying zoo coins early, waiting for them to go up in value to a certain level and then selling them, that sounds like an investment vehicle. Exactly. A very stupid one. Yep. So this explanation definitely doesn't hold water. And Logan obviously just doesn't want to be on the hook for zoo coins. Instead, he just kind of wants to refund the much smaller part of the NFTs. What makes this even worse is that this refund doesn't even apply to everyone who bought these NFTs because some of these people sold their NFTs at a deep loss thinking that CryptoZoo was over, that it was abandoned. And there's actually a way you could have tracked this whole thing or Logan could have and, you know, found a way to repay all the people who lost money on eggs. But instead, this refund only applies to current holders, meaning nobody who sold during the year and a half this project was abandoned gets anything back which is a large percentage of the actual victims. And this is pretty bad. This was brought to Logan's attention by one of the people in the Discord. Joao says, quote, Logan Paul, what will happen to the people who sold everything at a loss when the project appeared to be, quote, abandoned? Will everyone who minted be able to get that refund or just the current owners? Now, in reply to this, someone in the Discord said, if you sell, you lose common investing knowledge. And Logan replies, seeming to agree with this idea which is just kind of a terrible perspective for Logan to have when he seems to be saying that he wants to refund these people. And he's the reason a lot of these people left. And this is- So he's only rewarding the loyalists. He's only rewarding the people who sat around for a year and a fucking half on an abandoned, on a perceived abandoned project. He's only rewarding the people who basically sat still for a year. That, that is fucking disgusting. This is where Logan's new apology starts to ring more hollow. It's in all of the follow-ups after the response video, because I, I don't know if he can help himself from betraying how he really feels about this, because in another Discord exchange, Logan says, please do not put any more money into CryptoZoo, which by the way, is quite reasonable to say, but then somebody follows up and says, guys, can someone explain what he said with not investing? But rather than replying, oh, guys, I just meant like I don't want anyone else losing money or, you know, I don't want anyone else recklessly gambling. Logan replies instead, quote, I will no longer be the scapegoat for anyone's financial decisions, which is a wild response for someone who's claiming to refund people because it implies that he thinks he's the victim here. And this is just insane to say as the oh, face of this project Logan. got everyone involved because... I think it betrays how he feels about this situation. He doesn't seem to see anything wrong with advertising a game that will make you money, it never delivering millions of dollars being stolen by criminals he hired. And then when all of those people want their money back, he feels like he's the scapegoat. Like, oh, these guys shouldn't have believed me when I advertised to them a fun game that will make you money. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, Logan had a simple job to do. All he had to do was just come out, apologize, get as much money back for the victims as possible. But he himself can't help but play the victim here. In fact, I have a third example of how Logan might really feel because Logan tweeted right before this response. He says, quote, the matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. Now, I guess he's trying to channel Andrew Tate here unsuccessfully, basically saying like, ah, oh, I'm getting attacked, not because I did anything wrong or scammed anyone. I'm just, I'm just too much of a truth teller. I'm just an enemy of the system. That's why I must be getting attacked. But if that's the- Logan, if you ever see this, I doubt you ever will. You need to acknowledge this. The only reason why you're being quote unquote attacked by the matrix is because you have been found to be scummy and you're not the victim in any way, shape, or fucking form. You are an egotistical prick who puts wealth ahead of humanity. In the case, we then have to wonder, did the Matrix force you to apologize? Did it force you to hand back 1.3 million? I just think comments like this go so far to undercut his apology because it's very clear that instead of actually like caring about the victims, he feels like he's a victim. I mean, he's saying like, oh, pray you never become its target. Who's the matrix though, Logan? Like, is it your fans who got robbed? Who are the agents coming after you? I, I know it's not me. I know you're not saying I'm the matrix here in my $10 million studio, because after all, you're thanking me. You're thanking the matrix. Like, 
What is this response? It's so childish the way he speaks about this stuff. And again, this isn't to be dismissive of Logan's actions if he follows through, because there is a lot of good that 1.3 million can do. And you know what? If he goes back and he finishes the game, that's also good. Yeah. But it's just so frustrating when the good that Logan seems to be doing, he's doing the bare minimum of at the last possible second with motivations that seem to be in the proper context, to say it lightly, irreparably tainted by self-interest. Now, I'm not going to address Logan's other two response videos, which are mostly like attacking me because Logan sort of walked those back now. He's apologized. He said he was going to delete them. The funny fact about those response videos, by the way, is they are essentially a perfect copy and paste of everyone who has ever gone up against Coffeezilla. There must be a forum somewhere on the internet with like a predefined video format on how to deal with Coffeezilla because every fucking time it's attacking him as a person, attacking his character, attacking his investigation skills. Whenever there's a phone involved, he goes, oh, that's illegal. Even though in the state of Texas, it actually isn't illegal because it's a one-party consent state, etc. But I find it so baffling how everyone's response to coffee has always been the exact fucking same. I could stack every single one of them on top of another and you won't be able to tell the difference apart from the person on it. Them. I think he deleted one of them. The other one's still up. I don't know if the impulsive episode's going to go down. Either way, it's just much less interesting now that he says he doesn't like mean it anymore. He's not going to sue. So I don't feel the need to publicly defend myself. If you're curious about it all did the nothing wild wrong. stuff that was wrong in those first two responses, um, I'll put the video live on my Patreon. But I didn't want to release it at the time because I thought there was a better chance at getting a good ending for the victims here if I was a bit more diplomatic with Logan at this critical juncture when he was deciding whether he was going to give money back or not. I don't know if I succeeded in moving the needle, but that was certainly my intention. Either way, now that Logan has responded with his plan and I've given my perspective on how much I think it's rooted in, you know, self-interest versus a genuine, you know, attempt to help out the victims, I think this is about as much as I'm going to be able to contribute to this situation. I mean, I do think it's incredible that even $1.3 million came of this, while I also can acknowledge that it's not nearly enough for the real victims of this. I'll follow up in the future to make sure that he actually gives that money away. But for now, I think most of the CryptoZoo victims, if they're still hungry for justice, are going to have to take it up with Logan in ways that are different than I can do on YouTube here. If I was one of the victims class action lawsuit just just a just a mass lawsuit just every single one of them get together do a huge lawsuit and, and just say fuck you we're doing this and i know for a fact that that's happening by the way there's another content creator online who's an actual lawyer going i got scammed by crypto this is what's gonna happen and he, i know that they've been approaching them because this shit needs to stop if crypto is the future the, the biggest problem with crypto is how unregulated it is. It needs to be regulated to some degree. Which, by the way, I think some of them are. In fact, I just saw a lawyer on YouTube, uh, Attorney Tom. He's going to start the legal process going after Logan using stuff like the arbitration clause in their terms of service. So I just wanted to say, if you're a victim of CryptoZoo, you can check out that video, which I'll link to you if you want, uh, or consult with a lawyer, because I'm sure for the people who lost a lot of money, this is certainly not the end for them because they didn't get a full refund and I'm sure they'll be seeking one. But even though it's not the end for them, it is the end for me for now. This is the end of the Crypto Zoo saga. And I wanted to say and give a huge heartfelt thank you to everyone who viewed this and supported me throughout this. It's been insane, the level of support when Logan was threatening us and I do not take it lightly. There is an alternate universe where if that hadn't happened, Logan would feel emboldened to sue me and probably not give much back to the victims. So it's your support that made all the difference and got the victims at least something. So that wraps it up. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I think I said as everything I said in that. Logan's an egotistical prick. This isn't going to be the last time we hear about him scamming his community. I guarantee you there's going to be another thing going on. I, I, I guarantee you in 
th like six to twelve months time, there'll be more bullshit from him. Um, Coffee does really fucking good videos. Actually, I need to. I'll post the link in the tw in the Twitch chat. There's the link to the video if you want to watch it. Um, but uh, the problem is, is he's genuinely he's so, he's a problem. He's a problem, and the issue is, is he creates problems for not only himself. And the people around him, he creates a problem for the whole of YouTube because it pushes, it pushes it and makes it feel normal and it really shouldn't be considered normal. It really should not be considered normal. If, if it shouldn't ever be considered normal for that shit to be regarded as normal.